Hello, I'm David, this is Hobby Jackal, and in this video we're going to be discussing the newly announced Warhammer Compendium, including over 800 fighters. Essential if you want to jump into Warcry 2nd Edition with your old warband. Right, so yesterday Warhammer Community released a new article, um, the Sunday preview, indicating that we can grab our machetes and cut our way into the lush new edition of Warcry. So um, so the Heart of Gur box set, which we've already seen in detail, I've already previewed in previous videos, is going on pre-order. So that's this Saturday, the 30th of July, and um, the pre-order is going to last two weeks, and um, it's going to be out for, for people to start painting and building on the 13th of August. So I'm um, not going to go into this in too much detail. You can see some of the, the details here. One thing you can see um, slightly better this time around is the uh, token sheet here, which does include some really handy uh, dagger, hammer and shield tokens. For those familiar with the game, before you start a game, you split your warband into those three and they will appear at different parts on the map, um, depending on deployment, that kind of thing. So handy to have a reference token. Um, so just skipping through all this, you can go and read the article if you like, but to be honest, as, as I said, there's not too much that we haven't seen before. And if you do purchase it through Games Workshop, uh, you will get this handy little movement dial, but um, many other websites you can get it for sort of 20% off. So it depends if that's worth it for you. Each to their own. So um, this is the part I kind of want to focus on for this video. And this is the part that I think um, was most interesting to me and potentially to other people out there. So um, at the end they say, of course you'll be able to bring your warbands from the first edition of Warcry into the Narwood. More than 800 fighters are getting fully updated rules including new profiles, warband reactions, all of which you'll be able to find in the Warcry compendium, which will be out in just a couple of weeks after the new box set. So um, this is going to be out of, around the end of August, so not too long to wait. Uh, this weighty tome covers every warband from the Grand Alliance, Order, Chaos, Death and Destruction, alongside their allies, monsters and thralls. It's the essential companion for any existing Warcry player. So in the last edition, we had one book, each focusing on one of the Grand Alliances, Order, Chaos, Death or Destruction. Uh, and the suggestion is very much that this one chunky book, uh, my bad artist impression there, uh, is going to take all of this information and update it for us, updated fighter cards. We're getting reactions specifically for our warbands and we can hit second edition uh, going toe to toe with these new warbands that do have some of these new mechanics. Um, the really heartening thing here is if you don't pick this up straight away, we've seen the Warcry cards and not only are all the stats present and correct and the same, uh, the leader's statistics are really comparable to leaders that we've seen in other warbands, so it's unlikely you're going to be massively unmatched. You might find if you're playing against competitive people that they will insist on that you use the new stats, which may change slightly here or there. Um, but just to say, you know, there's, uh, I always take the practical approach that there's nothing stopping me and my friends using the old content if I want to. And you can see how the land lays once this new content comes out. If there's something exciting in there that suits you, pick it up. Um, so, let's just have a look at some pros and cons uh, for this compendium, just, just quickly. I'll just reel through these and then we'll take a, a closer look at what we know about the reactions as well. Because they have not only previewed some recently, uh, but they have existed in uh, Tome of Champions previously. So, um, pros, uh, you can get your warband straight away, get them stuck into Gur with Gur stats. So readjusted st statistics and, and new cards, which is um, never a bad thing. And it's nice that this is appearing so soon after the release. Um, we will, apparently warbands are getting reactions. So it states this in the article, which is great because it's something we were wondering about. I was wondering whether they would just release these new warbands with these mechanics and they'd just be held off the older ones or they might drip feed them or re-release each of these Grand Alliance books. But but no, they're all coming. Every warband's getting some kind of reaction mechanic and we're getting them in a one-er. Um, the final pro or the, the big benefit that I can see is that uh, balancing. So those people that have been playing it, whether you're sort of doing it narratively or competitively, there are a few balance issues. Here's looking at you, Tarantula Sprood. Um, so a little bit of balancing can go a long way. Um, in terms of cons, cost, um, some people may have shelled out for some or all of the books recently. Uh, getting a, they specify that this is a chunky tome and it's gonna be if it's including all of these statistics. Uh, 
So yeah, appreciating this may cost people. They're going to be picking up the new rule book, presumably at the very least, once that becomes available or picking up separately on eBay for people that have bought the box. Um, but yeah, this is a chunky tome. It's probably, you're going to have to shell out for it. Um, I still think, I mean, this is a new edition. We kind of knew something like this was coming and there's going to be some buy-in. The real positive for Warcry is once you've got that book, you can you can do loads with it. There's loads of information contained in these books. So, um, you know, it, it, it's a negative. <laughs> the big one that's maybe concerning me and possibly a few other people is that the Kill Team Compendium was perhaps not one of the best executed books in Games Workshop's recent history. And the reason for this is just that um, the you could play with any of your factions in theory, but it it just wasn't very well realised. So you had really limited basic options that just couldn't stand up to the depth offered by the kill teams that were designed for the new game. Uh, White Dwarf has gone some way to correcting that, but I'm just hoping the team has had the, the time to do this properly. Um, I'm, I'm hoping they probably have because not too much has changed, so they're not starting from scratch. And I imagine with Kill Team that was a potentially a massive burden on the team. Um, and I'm really... it's just needs some update. And I've written balancing there a second time, and that's just that on the whole, I think Warcry is kind of balanced. So I like the Iron Golems, I've mentioned them before. They don't necessarily stand up in a competitive scene, but you can still go on a campaign with them. You can chuck in some furies and faster moving models, and you can kind of work against it. But I think on the whole, in a game that's got as many variables as this in terms of the sheer number of different fighters you can bring along, I think Warcry is quite balanced, really. Um, so my hope here is just it perhaps doesn't go too extreme and go the other way. So they say they nerf the tarantula's brood and they make the spiders completely unusable or something like that. So, um, so yeah, just throwing that in there. Anyway, final thing in this lecture, uh, reactions. So here's a slightly pixelated preview of the one that we saw on an image before. So, um, so we know that the horns of her shut are getting breath of cinder and smoke. A fighter can make this reaction when an enemy fighter finishes a move action within three inches. Roll a dice and blah, blah, blah. we kind of lose the end part there. But it looks likely that, say, if you roll a dice that's equal to or greater than their toughness, you can do D3 damage. Something like that. We'll see. Um, we have seen reactions appear in Toma Champions 2020. So it's this kind of pit fighting rule set. Uh, and they would have three different options here. So parry, you could um, reduce the attacks hitting you. Repost, you could do attacks back and grapple. You could potentially sort of completely block the attack from happening, but it was like a one in six chance. Uh, the interesting thing about these was that you had to spend a single. So you would spend a single to do these reactions. So it's not a given. You're not always doing this. You're potentially holding back to do a reaction somewhere else. So I think this is a really interesting and positive mechanic for the reactions. Uh, and something that I would quite like to see rolled out because sometimes when you get a load of singles, you're banking them to get the initiative so you can get the first hit in in a round. Um, but they're kind of useless and it would be a nice trade up between holding on to your triples and your quads or, or building them rather at start with your wild dice to actually maybe holding back a few singles for reactions and just throw in a little bit more decision making at that early stage in the game. So that's all from me today. Uh, I'd love to hear what you think about this. I'm quite excited to see the reactions. I'm quite excited to see this book. It's probably going to cost us a bit of money. It's going to be a bit of a chunky one. But if you look at the current timelines for things, it's probably going to last you three years or pending a few updates, FAQs, that kind of thing. And um, I think it'd be great fun to pull out all these old war bands, see what reactions are changing up the meta. If that's something you're interested in, I'm more into the narrative. So I'm just looking forward to doing cool stuff with my, potentially with my single dices, if that mechanic's gonna happen as we think it might. Uh, yeah, so um, yep, cheers for watching again. Let me know what you think in the comments. Love to hear from you. And I will be looking to follow this up with a, an updated roadmap of when we're expecting these releases. Okay, take care and be safe.